we have commenced a gradual and controlled process of getting our economy back to full production and to give all Jamaicans the opportunity to earn their livelihoods while protecting their health. In 2021, the Office of the Prime Minister led government's charge to recover stronger together. As the island moved away from the pandemic to the endemic stage of COVID-19, the office of the Prime Minister led from the front. Prime Minister Andrew Holness, his family, the Cabinet and government members of Parliament all received their COVID-19 vaccines. The time is now. We have vaccines. Uh, we have enough vaccines that if you should come out tomorrow, we'll be able to vaccinate everyone who would come. To increase buy-in, a vaccine mobilization and public education campaign was launched. A $40 million genome sequencing machine to test for COVID-19 variants was acquired by the Culture, Health, Arts, Sport and Education Chase Fund. And the Constituency Development Fund disbursed $2 million to each constituency to support persons having COVID-19 related economic challenges. We are not distracted, we are, we are managing everything all at once. Defence received well-needed attention in 2021. Jamaica Defence Force troops were deployed to assist the Jamaica Constabulary Force cauterize crime and improve civility in areas under a state of public emergency and the zones of special operations. The recently formed Maritime Air and Cyber Command was successful in stopping a billion dollars worth of contraband getting into the island. And the JDF made history when it tapped Commodore Antoinette Weems Gorman to become the first female Chief of Defence Staff. The Jamaica National Service Corps boosted the JDF's numbers with close to 500 new recruits. With education as a priority, the Heart NSTA Trust opened four additional assessment centers for skills training. Close to 69,000 trainees were enrolled, with scores more certified and placed in jobs. The Trust also continued its adult education programs and support for the Zones of Special Operations and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises MSMEs. In 2021, the Youth Employment in the Digital and Animation Industries YEDI project hosted the fourth Kingston Conference virtually. 118 students matriculated from its 2D and 3D animation courses, and two community centers were refurbished to accommodate digitization training. And Prime Minister Holness prioritized education through his Positive Jamaica Foundation, issuing learning devices to schools across the island. All Jamaicans, regardless of your social standard, your social circumstances, there should be a minimum level of shelter, of housing, that you are entitled to as a citizen of this country. The National Social Housing Program filled that gap in 2021, delivering 36 housing solutions to the neediest in the society. A low-cost housing design competition was held to secure affordable, climate-smart and disabilities-enabled blueprints to build out government's housing programs. A Memorandum of Understanding was signed to develop the Victoria Palms housing development that will serve as a pilot for upgrading urban areas. At the National Housing Trust, over 8,000 units were started, with around 7,000 completed and a little over 12,000 mortgages issued. We believe that good housing, good shelter is a right, and we are going to do everything in our powers to ensure that you can benefit. NHT also continued its police and hospital upgrading initiatives. Like it or not, want it or not, the Jamaican society must become a digital society. With that thrust, the revamped National Identification and Registration Act was passed in 2021. Regulations are set to be tabled later this month. To drive the implementation, a contract was awarded for the digitization of civil records at the Registrar General's Department. Contracts have also been awarded to modify NIDS enrollment and production sites. The NIDS Data Center became operational in 2021 and an additional 30 mobile workstations were procured to promote birth registration. Recovering Stronger was the focus of the Office of the Prime Minister in 2021 and the road to recovery continues with a call to action. If you 
had already been vaccinated, please take the booster to enhance your immunity. And if you did not get vaccinated at all, you are extremely vulnerable. So please get vaccinated now.